What's up guys, it's Vince G. So today I wanted to actually go over audio. Ever since thinking about starting a YouTube channel, audio was one of those things that I was incredibly passionate about. Um, so I picked up something that was in my price range and that happens to be one of the most affordable and best purchase for its price. And that is the Rode Video Micro, which is uh, recording the sound on me right now. So when I started doing some of my uh, YouTube videos, I was connecting the Rode Video Micro directly to the Lumix Panasonic S1R, which is a camera that's filming me right now. And it did a fantastic job. The way I have it set up is I have it boomed right out of frame. That way you can't see it. It's a little bit closer to my mouse, so you're gonna be getting a lot more dialogue um, and it's gonna sound a lot more clear on my voice, which sounds fantastic in my opinion. But while listening back to that audio and doing a little bit more research, there was a lot of uh, noise that I just couldn't get rid of in post-production. So after talking to one of my friends, he told me to pick up a audio recorder uh, to record audio externally. So I went on the internet, tried to see exactly what I could afford at the time, and I came across the Zoom H1. So the Zoom H1 is a pretty old audio recorder. It's just bare bones, basic as you can get. Um, luckily, one of my friends had one for sale. He just had it in his closet and I bought it off of him. So the audio that you're listening to right now is actually the Rode Video Micro connected to the H1. Now, what I wanted to do today was to answer a couple of questions. Mainly, is the Zoom H1 still a good buy in 2020? And the other questions that I wanted to answer is, do you really need uh, audio recorder? So we're gonna do a couple of audio tests. Of course, you could hear me right now while it's recording to the Zoom H1, but I also want to include audio samples of the mic connected directly to the S1R. And I also just want you guys to hear what it sounds like with the internal microphones. So let's get those audio tests started. Audio test, this is the internal microphones on the Panasonic Lumix S1R. As you can tell, there's a lot of noise. I'm in a untreated area. I have my ACs going on. I got fans going on. Audio test on the Panasonic Lumix S1R. Audio test, this is a Rode Video Micro connected to the Panasonic Lumix S1R. I am in my living room. It is an untreated area. I have my AC going on. I have some fans going on. I live in Texas. It's incredibly hot, so I need a lot of fans. Audio test on the Panasonic Lumix S1R with the Rode Video Micro. All right, so as you can tell, when connecting the Rode Video Micro to the Panasonic Lumix S1R, there was still a little bit of noise that I just can't get rid of in Premiere Pro. So when connecting the Rode Video Micro to the H1, there was a way clearer audio than connecting it to the camera. And that is due to the preamps that are inside of the camera. You're never gonna get the best audio when connecting literally any type of microphone to any camera. That's just not what they're for. They're to record images. And an external recorder like the Zoom H1 is to record audio. So do I believe that the H1 is a good buy in the year 2020? Absolutely. Now, I only bought my Zoom H1 for around $50 on the used market. Like I said, my friend had one in his closet, didn't need it anymore, and I just gave him 50 bucks for it. You can find them anywhere from 50 to 80 bucks, and on the new market, you can find some of the newer generations all the way from 100 to $130. But I got a pretty old one, works perfectly fine as you can tell with the audio here. But that's gonna wrap up this short video. I just wanted to talk briefly on audio. Let me know what you guys think of how the audio sounds in the comment section down below. If you wanna see a review on the H1, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just let me know. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Again, my name is Vince G, thanks for watching.